Hey there, Will Rice with the Tips Team, bringing you a Google Workspace quick tip. Today we'll be talking about how to import a Google Form into a Google Classroom practice set. If you have prepared a number of Google Forms to use with students in the past, especially those made in quiz mode, this might be a great way for you to move some of those existing questions into a practice set for students to use directly in Google Classroom, including direct links to YouTube and other hints. We have other videos on practice sets in general this is just a quick tip on how to get from forms to practice set. So, once you have your form made, or you know where to find it, head over to Google Classroom. As usual, create an assignment, and at the bottom, click on practice sets to act, create a practice set for this assignment. Clicking create, will create a practice set with a blank question. If you would like, you can delete that. And scrolling down, will allow you to see the import button. Clicking import will bring up the Google Picker and allow you to find that form that you've prepared previously. If you've opened it recently, it'll be right at the top. Clicking import will bring in the questions that can be imported. You'll notice that at the bottom, if any questions could not be imported or could be imported, you will get a details message. Clicking on this will tell you specifically that how many questions were imported and which questions were not imported Clicking on the down arrow to view more details will tell you which questions were not imported. In this case, I had a question that was a multiple choice grid that couldn't be brought in. A number of form questions cannot be imported. What can be imported are multiple choice or single select, multi-select, paragraph and short answer. Other question types from your Google Forms won't be brought in, nor will images, but that is planned for future updates. The other thing to note is that while in forums you may have questions that do not have the right answer, in practice sets you do need to select an answer for each question. If you have a question like this one here that doesn't really have a correct answer, you may not be able to use it in practice sets and you may want to delete it as it may be confusing if there's no correct answer. For questions that do have correct answers that were added in Google Forms as part of quiz mode, you'll see that that correct answer was brought directly over and there's no other work to do other than to Attach a resource to this question if you would like to do so. That can be a text hint or a direct link to a YouTube video. You can also click on the See Suggested to identify some selected videos that Google thinks might make sense for your students. You can go ahead and give that a title. And when you're done editing, you can go ahead and load that practice set and attach it to that assignment. As always, if you have any questions or concerns about importing forms into Google Classroom practice sets, reach out to your TIPS team member or go to tips.epsb.ca for, for more information.